All right, so this is my 1914 Model T Lantern. Um, we are going to light it up today and see if it works. I am using olive oil because um, kerosene is pretty hard to find and um, this will work just fine. So what we're, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna pour a little bit on the wick I already put some in the gas tank. Um, just this kind of pre-ignites it so it'll burn a little bit fast, start to burn a little faster. Um, then you take your lighter and just light it up here. It may take a second for it to light. Maybe getting down to the last of my lighter here. What is going on? Okay, so we'll come back when we have a new lighter. Okay, now that I have a decent lighter, let's try this again. And there it goes. Now it might take a second for it to fully start lighting up. We'll let it, um, get fully ignited here and don't go anywhere we have a another lantern that we're going to try and an antique um it's called a brooder um so yeah all right now that it's fully ignited let's um take a look at what it looks like like that wow that's pretty cool and it is working really good today. Look at that. Wow. So yes, olive oil does work really good for this kind of stuff. Look at that though, that is pretty cool. Now this one would have been on an old Ford Model T car um, but you could put this on a piece of board and have a handle and you could use this for like if your power goes out um, but yeah isn't that pretty cool it's first time I've ever lit up something like this um, but yeah look at that isn't that pretty cool oh did it go out did it go out? Yeah, it did. Why did it go out? Not enough wick? But yeah, thanks for tuning in on this one. Later tonight we'll have a brooder and an old car truck thing. and. Yeah, stay tuned in for that. Bye, guys. Thanks for tuning in.